You look smart, Mr. Blackadder. Going somewhere nice? No. I'm off to the theatre. Well, don't you like it, then? No, I don't. A lot of stupid actors strutting around, shouting with their chests thrust out so far, you'd think their nipples were attached to a pair of charging elephants. <laughs> and the worst thing about it is having to go with Prince Minibrain. Well, doesn't he like it either? No, no, he loves it. The problem is he doesn't realise it's made up. Last year, when Brutus was about to kill Julius Caesar, the prince yelled out, Look behind you, Mr. Caesar. <laughs> I can't see the point in the theatre. All that sex and violence. I'll get enough of that at home. <laughs> Except for the sex, of course. <laughs> and while we're out, Baldrick, I want you to give this palace a good clean. It's so dirty, it'll be unacceptable to a dung beetle that had lost interest in its career and really let itself go. Come on, Black Adam, we'll miss the first act. Coming, sir, as fast as I can. Stick the kettle on, Baldrick. <laughs> This advice to thee. Uh, never, never, never trust thine enemy. Thy life is forfeit. Uh, uh, <laughs> thy life is forfeit, sir, and at an end, like our poor play. We hope it pleased you. Friend? Certainly not, you murdering rotter! Dogs, arrest that man! Yes, it's only a play. Oh, well, that's all very well, but what about the poor fellow who's dead? Saying it's only a play will not feed and clothe the little ones he leaves behind. Call the militia! But, sir, he's not dead. See, he stands, awaiting your applause. Oh, I say, that's very clever. <laughs> Slice it. Oh, shit. We'll close tonight. <laughs> For the window, smash the spinning jenny, burn the rolling Rosalind, destroy the going up and down a bit and then moving along Gertrude, and death to the stupid prince who grows fat on the profits. I say, how exciting. <laughs> this play's getting better and better. Bravo! <laughs> it's not a play anymore, sir. <laughs> Put the bomb down and make your way quietly to the exit. <laughs> you old thing. Your trouble is you can't tell when something's real or when it's not. I must say, Black Adam, that was a close shave. Why on earth would an anarchist possibly want to kill you? <laughs> I think it might have been you he was after, sir. Oh, hogwash. What on earth makes you say that? Well, my suspicions were first aroused by his use of the words death to the stupid prince. <laughs> it was a bit rude, wasn't it? These are volatile times, Your Highness. 